Julie, thank you so much. All right, coming up next, everyone, as the West Coast port strike drags on, a group of oil workers in Long Beach, California, are now threatening to join a national oil worker strike, which could make things a whole lot worse. How this affects the national and local economy right after this. Welcome back to Street Smart. I'm Trish Regan. The West Coast port strike is stranding cargo ships and forcing manufacturers to fly products to retailers. Now to make matters worse, a group of oil workers in Long Beach, California, are threatening to join a national oil worker strike. How will this affect business and the overall economy? Still with me, Steve Forbes, chairman and editor-in-chief of Forbes Media. Also alongside us, AJ Kubani, founder and CEO of Telebrands, the as-seen-on-TV products uh, that you probably all recognize. Now, what's interesting here, AJ, uh, is that you've got a lot of these products sitting on the docks That's out right. there on the West Coast that can't get to the intended recipients. Listen, we're a small company. So, you know, we have goods on the water, we have goods on the way in. There's Pet Egg Power, which is our hottest selling product at the time. We have hundreds of thousands of these sitting at the port right now. Over 200 containers of merchandise that are sold to retailers. The retailers are waiting for the product and we can't ship it. Now, this is devastating for a small company like mine. We're not insured for anything like this. We're losing revenue of $400,000 every single day. Now, I know these 20,000 workers want to raise, but what about my 70 employees? They count, too. Well, and it's 70 employees multiplied, right? Because uh, it's not just your business, but plenty of businesses that are getting affected and hurt by this. Uh, let's talk about the workers and what they want and what they're demanding. They're being paid. With benefits, they make over $180,000 a year right now. And uh, the, the PMA has offered them, with, with, with uh, package, the entire package, over $200,000 a year, but they're still holding out for more. $200,000 a year to work in the port? Yes. On the West Coast? Yeah. I mean, it's a heck of a job, right? <laughs> it sounds like it. Better uh, than it, government work. <laughs> better than government work. Um, Listen, I, I don't know all the details of the dispute, but I wish it would get resolved. And I know that one thing, the President of the United States has the authority and the power to go in there and resolve this dispute. And it's gone on way too long. Wow. It's been going on since July. In the Christmas season, we lost millions of dollars in revenue because we couldn't get our products to the store shelf in time for Christmas. I don't think we're probably going to see the president uh, coming out uh, on, on, on the side of business on this one. I mean, your take, Steve, right now on the situation. No, it's a handful of workers. Technology is getting rid of those jobs more and more who uh, know they've got it with them by the throat and they're going to squeeze as hard as they can while they can. And uh, owners are coming back. They're doing, uh, the, you can work this day, you can't work that day. So they're playing that kabuki dance. Mm -hmm. But uh, as AJ says, it, uh, we all pay the price for it. You know, in, in your company, you mentioned you have 70 employees. You're not insured for this kind of stuff. There are many other companies out there, probably just like yours, that are going to struggle as a result. So what's the net effect? Well, the net effect is lost sales. And the question then becomes is, are you going to recover those sales? You're not going to recover most of a chunk of those sales. You either have it or you don't. You know, it's like shopping. You always get buyer's remorse. So you want to make that sale. If you uh, wait a few days or a few weeks, you're going to lose it. AJ, what do you want to see happen? You, you mentioned you'd like some kind of resolution. Do you think the answer is to pay the port workers more? Listen, yeah, I don't care. The, the President of the United States can go in there. He can pay the port workers more money if he wanted to. He can resolve the situation or he can force the workers back to work. He has that authority under the, the Taft Harley Act. Act. Yeah. And so, we've seen that happen before. Yes, 90-day cooling off period. Well, President Bush was the last one to force the workers back to work in 2002. Again, this happens every six years. I was thinking years. about the airline industry. Well, the air traffic control is Reagan. Mm -hmm. you know, right. I, I like to see Obama be a little more Reagan-esque, if he could. <laughs> Don't hold your breath, right? <laughs> all right. Well, uh, in the meantime, what, what are you going to do with all these uh, products you've got sitting on the docks? So there's nothing we can do. There's nobody we can sue for damages. We just have to wait and pray that this gets resolved. There's nothing else to do. Well, AJ, we hope it does get resolved for you. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Steve, you're going to stick with me. Uh, we do have some breaking news.